Once, long ago, in what was a lush land, lived the ancient people of the Sahara. The Sahara was once a green plain, and the people lived happily. But then, the climate changed dramatically. As a result, the people had to make a decision to stay or to leave the land. This is the story of Minas making that fateful decision. Christian, have you noticed that after working so hard, the crops have not yet bloomed? Oh, Menes, we're all worried for the people will die if we do not get rain and cannot harvest this harvest. You are so right. It has not rained for a very long time. And without the rain and its blessings, everyone, including us, will surely die. You are right. The fate of the people lies in our hands. But I must leave. My wife, Portia, needs me to be home for dinner by now. Then I bid you a pleasant night. You too. Evening, Portia. You might notice that the crops have not been harvested for several weeks. People have been dying of hunger. Yes, the people of the Sahara, including us, do not know what may come to the in the future. What do you think may happen, my sacred sweet soul? I fear a disaster, a disaster that could end the lives of all of us and carry us to the next world. We must pack everything and leave immediately. <laughs> the Sahara is turning into a desert as we speak. I fear that if we do not travel far away from here, we are sure to die a painful and revolting death with our bodies eaten by bugs. Why is that? We've hit a drought. If we do not find water, we will be dead soon. Menes, I count on you to be our leader and take us far away from here. I would be honored to, Christian. We will gather everything and leave at once. Go tell the people what you just told us and tell the menace to lead us. I will, Portia. Good day. Portia, I am concerned about our pet cats, Salhor and Findorka. I am afraid that they will die. Then we must take them with us. We need to go as soon as we possibly can. Do we have everything that we will need to take for this journey? Yes, I am well packed and well prepared for anything that will be thrown toward us. Then let's head off at once. Yes, yes we shall. This sandstorm that is blowing in our faces makes the trip much more difficult. Don't you think so, Portia? Yes. I hope Menace finds us a place soon. Yes, we must get far away from the Sahara. We can, we can trust Menace to lead us away from the desert. I hope so. I wish to survive, for I do not want to go into the next world so soon. Jungle ahead, everybody. We are saved at long last. We are sure to find water here. Hooray! We're, We're saved! saved. Menace is a hero. hero! Soon after Menace led everyone away from the Sahara, things became better. They formed villages and lived in what was a fertile land. Because he led his people to safety, Menace was crowned king of Upper Egypt. Soon after that, he conquered Lower Egypt, and Menace became the first great pharaoh. Portia was crowned queen of all of Egypt, and she happily lived by his side. As reward for his loyal service, Christian became guard of the Great Pyramid. Everyone lived happily ever after. <laughs>